Have you ever considered buying Zova brushes? Well, let me help you make that decision. If you're new to my channel, which you probably are, I'm Mike. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan, and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm gonna be revealing my favorite brushes by Zova. What brushes I absolutely love and use every time. So if you want to find out what brushes by Zova I love and I can't live without, then keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we're going to be talking about Zova brushes. And you know what? Those brushes are absolutely amazing. They're good quality, affordable brushes. And you know what? Zova has some of my favorite brushes ever. Brushes I can't live without and brushes I use every single time. One could never have enough brushes because do you know what? There's a brush for absolutely everything nowadays. There's a brush for cheeks, for lips, for your stubble, for your eyelids for your lashes, for your hair. There's even brushes to put foundation on your ears and contour your ears. So I mean, there's all those brushes and we need them all. So with no further ado, let me talk about my favorite brushes by Zova. For my returning viewers, this won't be a surprise that my first favorite Zova brush is 102 Silk Finish Foundation Brush. This is probably my favorite foundation brush ever. This changed the look of my foundation forever. When it comes to this brush, it is a synthetic brush and it is nearly like your buffer brush like. So it is quite doomed and you know what? It's not too dense and it's not too fine. So it is absolutely brilliant for spreading the product around. But what I love this brush for is stippling the product on. And it gives you that beauty blender finish like to the face. And you know what? It's not too big and it's not too small. So it is really good to get around the crease of your nose or underneath your nose and just in all those areas that regular foundation brush will just not get into. Because let's be honest, even though sponges are brilliant, sometimes it's very hard to get in around all those areas and in here. But when it comes to this brush, it just gives you that absolutely amazing finish to your foundation. And it is brilliant for powder foundation, liquid foundation, mineral foundation, and cream foundations even. Because you could spread the cream around and then buff it in really nicely. So if you're looking for a really good foundation brush by Zova, this is definitely a must have. Another favorite brush of mine by Zova, and like that, it won't be any surprise to return viewers of mine, is 142 Concealer Brush by Zova. When it comes to concealer brush, this is a holy grail. Do you know what? It's nearly like the mini of the 102 Silk Foundation, but just a concealer version. And do you know what? It is a synthetic brush for applying cream and liquid concealer. Well, most concealers are more on the creamier side. But what I love this for is the size of it and how doomed and dense that brush is. So it is definitely a lot more denser. So what I love it for is definitely spreading the product just around your eyebrows and even underneath your eyes so it's really nice to stipple the product in. And what it is really good for is nearly spot concealing. So like that, if you have a spot here, you can literally just dab that in and press that brush in and you're not gonna have a big mark because the synthetic brush is gonna absorb any product that is not needed, leaving that nice flawless finish to the skin. So now this has many uses. I love it sometimes underneath my eyebrows just to really clean it out or above if I'm cutting the eyebrow or even what it's really good for is just working on your nose, applying cream product. So what I would sometimes do is just dip my brush into a cream highlighter and just dip it onto my nose or certain areas and it will just give a flawless flawless result. So if you're looking for a good concealer brush the 142 is absolutely brilliant. Another favorite brush by Zova that I can't live without is 233 shader brush by Zova. So this brush nearly looks like a concealer flat brush and you know what you could use that for but what I love this for is cream products. So I love it for cream eyeshadows like your MAC paint pot or eye primers and you know what because it is synthetic it's perfect for creams as we all know synthetic works for creams the best what I would normally use this brush for is like that when I'm priming on my eyes with like let's say paint pot or my P Louise and you can really just work it around what I also use that sometimes for is if I'm cutting my eyebrows around you could nearly press the brush around just to seal the concealer in and same for concealing if I'd ever use that for concealing 
you could literally just press that on top of the concealer and it would absorb any product that's not needed and it will give you that nice soft finish. It's very hard to find a nice cream shader brush. Now I've looked everywhere and they're either too big or they're too small. This one is just perfect size for a lid. And also if you're doing a cut crease, it's very good because just the shape in it and how sharp it is. Now I've used the Inglot 22T and I just found that brush too small. It is a brilliant brush, but after a while when you use it, it just sticks together. This brush really keeps its quality for a good, good time. So when you're doing a cut crease, you can really map out where you're gonna place your concealer and then fill that in quite quickly and precisely. Moving on to eyes. And my first eye brush by Zova I'm gonna be talking about is 221 Soft Crease Brush. This is your oval crease brush. So what I love this for is blending and soften out. If I'm gonna have my crease color, if you want to blend that with your eyelid, so let's say you're gonna blend the two colors together, it's absolutely lovely because it's nice and big, but it's also quite oval. So it really softens the color. Same on the outer edge. It's really nice to soften that out without blowing the color too much because sometimes your blender brushes are too big and too fluffy that it nearly blows the color out a lot more. So more of a softer softening, this brush is absolutely brilliant. Even if you just want to just diffuse that edge slightly, this brush is absolutely brilliant. For blending, for anything, it is natural and synthetic mix. So it's gonna work also brilliant for your cream products as well as powders. Moving on to another favorite eye brush by Zova. 232 Classic Shader Brush. So this is just your classic shader brush for applying eyeshadow onto your lid. And why do I love this brush? Is I love the density of the brush. So the brush itself is rather dense and it's really easy to apply pigment. I love it just for applying shade onto my lid and I also love it for pigments. It is really nice for pigments. Because it is a mix with natural and synthetic, it's good for creams, pigments, and powders. And like that, I find that it's very hard to get a nice crease brush. And with this brush, I found it wasn't too long because some crease brushes are very long. This one is just a perfect mix between the thickness of it and the length of it. Moving on to my next favorite eyeshadow brush by Zova. And that brush is a 228 crease brush. So this is your synthetic eyeshadow brush by Zova. And I'm not really a fan of fully synthetic brushes. Now, I mean, nowadays the synthetic brushes are brilliant, but I still find them more on the meh side, if that makes sense when it comes to your powders. But when I got this brush, I didn't even know it was synthetic. I just got it and I was like, oh my God, it's absolutely brilliant. For a synthetic crease brush, this brush is absolutely brilliant. It's perfect for contouring. So what I love this brush for is mapping out my shade and as well blending my crease color with my lid color and blend it all out. Because this brush is not as dense as other brushes, it's gonna give you more of a feathery and soft result. So it is really nice just to run that onto your crease and nearly blow that color out slightly. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've used it for creams as well, blending creams and powders together. This brush is a holy, holy grail. If you're looking for a nice blender crease brush, the 228 Zova brush is definitely a good choice. Now let's talk about eyeshadow brush by Zova that I probably use the most out of all the brushes. And that brush is a 231 Petite Crease Brush. And I absolutely adore this brush. So this is your classic crease brush. And you know what? It is tiny and it is very doomed and it is quite soft. What this brush is brilliant for is precise crease work. So if you're placing color into your lid, so let's say I want to put a color into that lid, this brush is absolutely brilliant because do you know what? It's small enough to get into that crease without blowing the color out. So if you want to give that nice strong color effect you're here, this brush is perfect. So what I would normally do is use my 232 on my lid and then go in with this crease brush and just really apply my crease color in here and then blend it out. But it's absolutely lovely even if you use it in the corner just to place that here or even run in the color underneath because it's not gonna blow the color out too much and it's gonna give you that nice definition of color. So it is brilliant for building transition and it is a natural synthetic hair. So if you're looking for a good crease brush, this one is definitely for you. Another brush I'm gonna be talking about is a Zova 221 crease brush. So this is your oval crease brush 
It is a lot longer and do you know what? It's slightly bit softer and feathery to the top. So it is absolutely brilliant for blending out and softening out the color without blowing it way too much. It is that type of brush that creates a lot more softness, this sharpness. It's also lovely when you run the colors underneath and you want to just bring that out slightly. This brush is brilliant because it's not gonna give you the harsh line. Cause sometimes when you bring the eyeshadow from underneath, you can nearly end up with like that striking line. So what I would do is I'd get the color from here and I'll just blend that all up here. And this brush is brilliant cause then you can bring it into the crease and it is natural and synthetic mix now and the last silver brush that i can't live without and i absolutely adore is 322 brown line brush by zilva and you know what you guys this is 100 percent synthetic brush and i did not know that because why would i like i just got it as a brow brush and i absolutely adore it and when i first seen it i was like mm, i don't know like it is a very large brush when it comes to your eyebrows but the minute you start using it you just get used to it so quickly and i use it for my eyebrows every single time now what i would use this for is really mapping out the shape of my eyebrow and you can use this for cream for powder or powdery wax it works brilliant for all of it and the hairs on it are really short so you have good control with the brush so what i would normally do is that I'd apply my powder product onto the brush and i would start by lining up the product around my brow and then i would line it up around the top and then because the brush is really big what you'd start doing is filling that eyebrow in and whatever this brush is the way the hairs are made even if you bring the product up it just gives that nice, soft, feathery effect to the eyebrow. When it comes to some eyebrow brushes, if you done that, it would literally just leave chalky, heavy patches on your eyebrows. In this one, just because the hairs are slightly uneven, if that makes sense, you can really create that nice softness. Now, I never really use this for creams. I have different brushes when it comes to creams, but when it comes to my powder and powder waxes, this eyebrow brush is absolutely brilliant. And the most fabulous thing about it is that you get your eyebrows done in seconds. Because it is rather large and long, your eyebrows just take minutes. So when it comes to Zover brushes, there is some amazing, fabulous brushes for really affordable price. If you're looking for a good starter brush kit, Zova are definitely for you and if you're a pro looking for good Zova brushes they're definitely for you as well because I mean for the price that they are they're absolutely brilliant anyways guys thank you for watching today's film I hope you found this film rather interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also hit the thumbs up button and press all the notification and of course you guys please take care bye